In this morning's Machinery Minute, we have an update on a tool you're probably already familiar with. It's the USDA website, which helps producers monitor for crop diseases. It's called the IPM Pipe. In this report provided by the University of Illinois, Todd Gleason tells us about changes that are now geared specifically toward legumes. The legume site opens to a page familiar to those who've already used the soybean rust version of pipe. There's an interactive map of the United States in the middle of the page and a national legume commentary just before it. The commentary summarizes field observations gathered by extension specialists, researchers, and IPM coordinators. The management toolbox in the lower right-hand corner of the web page is where all the heavy lifting happens. As the name would imply, all of the information in this section pertains to management of crops based on good farming practices determined by the best available information and science at that moment in time. That is to say, the toolbox provides broad guidance and some specific recommendations for how to deal with a pest. The GFP tool, again in the management toolbox, is designed to pull together the expert management information and put it with the actual practices undertaken by the farmer. It's a document generated by the website that includes the expert management recommendations and a place for farmers to fill out what they did. The important part is that the generated document can be used for insurance purposes if needed. Information on all the pipe websites is fluid and it changes with the seasons and the science. The sites meld the two to provide farmers and their agriculture support network with timely, reliable, and valuable integrated pest management information and tactics. You may visit the legume version of IPM Pipe at legume.ipmpipe.org. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.